Welcome to another video. If you think you know the cube root of 1, and you've never heard of omega and omega squared, then you don't know the cube root of 1. And that's the purpose of this video. I want to tell you about that if you've never heard about it, because it blows everybody's mind. Let's get into the video. I know you have an answer when I ask you, what is the cube root of 1? You're going to say it's 1, because 1 is the only number you know which, when multiplied by itself three times, is going to be 1. There's no other number you know. But there's more. Omega is another number. Omega squared is another number. And there's more to omega. Let's assume we don't know anything about the cube root of 1. Let's just say it is x. I know x is 1, that's what you would say. But I want to try to solve this equation as if I don't know anything. And if I was given an equation like this, I know what to do. I would take the cube of both sides, I would cube both sides, rate both sides to power 3. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to cube this. Well, this cube gets rid of this, so I just have 1. And on this side, I have x cubed. And this looks f easy, right? You can just make an equation out of this. Just say, um, I have x cubed. Move this one over. You're going to have 0 left here. x cubed minus 1 is equal to 0. And anytime you're solving an equation that looks like this, when you see 1, you can treat it as a cube. Difference of two cubes, you factor and then you solve. That's what we do. So I'm going to factor this. I'm going to say that this is... 1 cubed. And then I'm going to factor this as x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. So I've rewritten this to be this. Well, this is the formula you use for factoring. Just like you have difference of two squares, this is how you factor the difference of two cubes. It is x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. Now, let's move on. Whenever you have the product of two things and you get zero, one of them must be zero. That's the only way you get zero. Or both of them must, must be zeros. And that's how we solve quadratic equations when we factor. So we're going to do the same thing here and say x minus 1 equals zero. Or some people don't like this or. So I'm going to leave it and just put a comma and say x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to zero. When you solve this, you get the first answer, x equals 1. That's the first answer. Now, you, can you see now that we're not getting just one answer? This is the answer you would give me, but there's something hiding in here. That's where omega is hiding. So, we're going to equate this to 0 and say x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. How do we solve stuff like this? We can't factor it, and we don't know the answer. We use the quadratic formula, that for a quadratic formula, x is minus b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. In this case, our a is 1, our b is 1, our c is 1, so we can just say x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 1 squared, minus 4ac, which is 4 all over 2 times 1, which is 2. So it looks like what we have is just minus 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 over 2. That's our x. There are two answers here. One is a plus and the other is a minus, followed by the fact that what you have here is the square root of a negative number. A negative number has no real square root, so this has to be an imaginary number. So we're going to write the answer as minus 1, we're going to pick the top part, plus imaginary square root of 3. So it's going to be imaginary square root of 3 divided by 2. That's one answer. And the second answer is, let's put it down here. So another one we have is going to be minus 1 
minus the imaginary square root of 3 divided by 2. Huh. So this is just different from this by the sign in the middle. So this very first one is omega. Now, before even going to this one, I want to talk about this one. I am not sure this is the cube root of 1 because it's, it sounds like if I multiply this by itself three times, I'm just suddenly going to get 1. We need to investigate that. So, before we come to this, let's talk about this. Like I said, I have my suspicions about this guy. So, I'm going to try to raise it to the third power and see if I get 1. Because I can't do all together, I'm going to do the square first and then I'll do the third one. So, I'm going to write it as negative 1. Actually, let me just repeat this. I'm going to write negative 1 plus the cube root of 3 over 2. And I'll do it one more time. Negative 1 plus imaginary root of 3 over 2. Okay, so... This is what I want to check. I want to make sure this gives me 1. So let's multiply the first 2. If I multiply the denominators, I know I'm going to get 4 in the bottom. So I'm just going to write 4. So there's still one more to multiply it by. Negative 1 plus... Okay. So minus 1 times minus 1 is going to give me 1. Nice. Minus 1 times this is going to give me minus imaginary square root of 3. This times this is going to be minus imaginary square root of 3. Imaginary square root of 3 times imaginary square root of 3 is going to be minus 1 because i times i is minus 1. And square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. So it's going to be minus 3. Oh, that's what I've got. Nice. Oh, there's something showing up. Look, what is 1 minus 3? It's negative 2. This is, these are the same. They don't cancel out, so I get 2 of them. Minus 2 times imaginary square root of 3 divided by 4. Ooh. Can I simplify this? You see, everybody has a 2. I can factor out a 2, so I can write this as 2. Oh, if I divide everything by 2 here, I end up with minus 1 minus imaginary. No way. No way. <laughs> Do you see what just happened? Wait, the one that had a plus, when you square it, it becomes exactly the one that had a minus. So if this is omega, this is omega squared. Well, this is the last multiplication. This is already the square. So we've squared, we got this. If we multiply one more time, the, the plan was to get one. So, let's multiply. If we multiply this way, we're going to get 4 in the denominator. Let me write it here. Equals 4. Minus 1 times minus 1 is going to be 1. By the way, these are conjugates. Look, this has a plus, this has a minus. So what you get at the end is the square of the first minus the square of the second. That's what you always get in conjugates. So the square of the first is 1. The square of this is going to be minus 3 because of the i. So we end up with 1 plus 3. What's 1 plus 3? It's 4. So that's 4 over 4. So this is equal to 4. Insane. <laughs> that gives us 1. So the cube roots of unity are 1, omega, and omega squared. And we discovered that the square of omega definitely is omega squared. This is what you have as the possible answers. Now we know that, what happens if we multiply all three together? What do we get? Well, that's what we did. 
It's like multiplying this with this and then multiplying by one because this is omega squared, this is omega. If you multiply by one, you end up with one ultimately. So we know that these are facts. One times omega times omega squared is equal to one. There's one more thing we haven't tried. What about the sum? What about one plus omega plus omega squared? What do you think we're gonna get? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try to add everything together. So just to make life easy for myself, I'm gonna write this as two over two, right? So that I have a common denominator. So let me change this to two over two. And now that I have a common denominator, I can just draw a giant line and write two under, and then just add all the components on top. So I have two plus minus one plus i square root of three plus negative one minus i square root of three. Well, let's see what happens. This is gonna be two minus one minus one. So let's write it out. <laughs> this is fascinating, this is two. We have two minus one minus one plus i square root of three minus i square root of three. What do you see? This is zero, this cancels this out. You got zero over two and your answer is equal to zero. Fascinating. The product of the cube roots of unity is unity and their sum is zero. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.